Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for the removal and replacement of the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor on this 2019 Buick Encore with the 1.4 liter engine. If you find value in this content, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. The MAP sensor is located right here, okay, right at the end of my pointer, right where the blue label is, okay? It's also known as the Barrow sensor, B-A-R-O sensor. Some of the symptoms associated with a faulty sensor include a short circuit, you could have a defective sensor, vacuum leak, so it's very dependent on vacuum leaks. If you have a dirty mass airflow sensor, this could also affect the map sensor. And also you would have the ever-present engine codes P0106 and P0107. Now let's move on to our supply list. Our supply list includes a map sensor and a T15 tool to remove the screw located right here. Please see other items in the description below. So let's go ahead and move forward with the removal and replacement of the map sensor. So before we get started, we're gonna to have to get this, this hose right here for the EVAP purge valve, that needs to be removed. Okay, so in order to do that, you pull up on this locking mechanism, and then you're gonna press in on this green tab right here, push that hose and the EVAP together, and then pull them apart. So unlock, press down on the green tab, push together, and pull it apart, just like that. Hope you guys saw that. Next, we're gonna use our T15 tool to loosen this screw right here. Okay, be careful. It's not very long. And there's a loose washer on there, so. There you go, hold on tight. Got it. Next, I'm going to unlock this connector by pulling back on that red tab, just like that, and I'm going to push my thumb right in this area, right there, okay? So, press in and pull back, and there you have it. And that should allow us to simply pull out the map sensor, and here it is. Okay, it looks in really good condition. The only thing that I really want to note about it is that there's an O-ring on here. And uh, when I first pulled this out, this was, had a lot of oil on it, honestly. And so it's fine if the oil is on the interior side of the, the sensor itself, but you shouldn't have oil on the exterior side or the upper portion of the O-ring, okay? So that's something you should watch out for. Other than that, I don't know how you would test this because it relies also on the mass airflow sensor. So you have to have some sort of special tool to test this. And I don't have that tool, that's what I'll say. But this video is primarily designed to show you where this is located, provide you with the number. So there is a, a GM product number here. So it's 555-672. 57. So that's the GM part number. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and reinstall this and wrap this video up. So go ahead. I'm going to drop it in place. Okay. Now this time I'm going to go ahead and install the screw first. Don't drop it. Remember that that washer is not connected. Okay. This is, these only need to be hand tight, but the engine does vibrate. So I would put, like my minimum recommendation for pressure on these types of things is, is 10 pounds. Okay, here you go. All right, now you make the electrical connection. See the orange gasket, the waterproof gasket there. You see it's pretty thick, it's a large gasket. So obviously, there's been some issues in the past with water getting in and impacting the sensor here. So they've got like an extra thick water gasket. So um, just consider that before you think about replacing this item. It could be that you have 
corrosion in here. All right, so let's go ahead, install it, listen for the click. There you go. And let's go ahead and lock it in place. And okay, last thing we need to do is replace the, the hose on the EVAP purge valve. So with this being in the unlocked position, you heard the click, lock it down, double check it. And there you have it. Well folks, that wraps up the removal and replacement of the MAP sensor on this 2019 Buick Encore. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.